when it gets to the stage where it's no longer painful, but all of a sudden you can't raise your shoulder above your head, that is frozen shoulder. How's it going everyone? Dr. Beer here at Advanced Health Chiropractic down in the south of Chicago. Today we're going to be talking about frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis as it's called. So frozen shoulder is essentially when the capsule of the glenohumeral joint or your shoulder becomes super adherent and becomes very stiff and immobile. And what can happen is that you typically have pain in the very early onset of adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder and then it stops becoming painful. However, your range of motion is dramatically limited. And so when it gets to the stage where it's no longer painful, but all of a sudden you can't raise your shoulder above your head, that is frozen shoulder. So how do we address that? And how do we treat that here at Advanced Health? Well, one of the things we can do is by gently and very repetitiously increasing range of motion by essentially taking your hand and using this PVC pipe that I got here to drive with the, the hand that's not frozen into the frozen shoulder side. And so by doing that, we're forcing the shoulder, breaking through that adhesive capsulitis and kind of getting back that range of motion that was lost. So by breaking through that barrier of the shoulder, going in every direction. So front, side, and back. And essentially by doing that, we're working into that shoulder and Unfortunately, adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder takes a very long time to recover. So it's something that's very slow, but very methodical that you have to kind of do this every day to work on that tissue and work on that capsule ligaments. And these are some of the exercises we do, as well as other rehab and stabilization exercises. But the number one thing you want to get back with frozen shoulder is the range of motion. Because typically, most people don't have pain when they get to the point where all of a sudden the range of motion is lost. So we can really drive in that extra range of motion until we get to the point where we're no longer frozen. So I just went over a few rehab exercises that we can do for frozen shoulders. Now here are a couple things that we can do in the office to help increase that shoulder range of motion and mobility. And what we're gonna do on Malik here is we're gonna take his shoulder and go from a relaxed position out as far as he can and then across the body and pulling on that. And what that do, does is it actually stretches all the muscles in the back of the shoulder and kind of relaxes and eases up that tension at the same time as breaking apart scar tissue. So I'm gonna go ahead and relax your arm off to the side. And what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna go out as far as you can, across as far as you can, and really pull on the elbow with this hand. Exactly, so go ahead and relax. Now I'm just gonna contact the back of the shoulder around the teres minor, teres major area. Go ahead and go out across and pull and by pinning this structure down in place it's getting a nice stretch as Malik crosses his body and we'll do this around eight to twelve times and up across and pull and how's that feel Malik? Hurts. <laughs> exactly so it's not going to feel great while doing it but it's going to have a lot of tremendous improvement with the range of motion and structure and function of that shoulder with frozen shoulder all right, if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.